Hey, Scooter. Hey, Scooter. Hey, Scooter. Okay, I'll bite. What is this, SpongeBob? Do you know what today is? I know it's Squidward Day. Ha ha ha. No, silly. That's on the 15th. Today's the day Mr. Krab is going to hire a new employee. SpongeBob. Don't you know that Mr. Krab is hiring a new employee just to create more work for us because we're going to have to train them? Squidward. You've got it all wrong. Having a new co-worker is going to be great. We will finally have some extra help to get things done and a new friend. Oh, great. A new friend. I'm so excited. Mr. Krab is only hiring a new employee. To save himself money so he doesn't have to pay you over time. Mr. Krabs, is this true? Sorry, me boy. I love me the money. I'll tell you what. You can help me pick our new employee. Really, Mr. Krabs? Really? Now, come on, boy. Yo. We don't have time to be wasting. There's money to be made, and every second we spend sitting here talking is money I lose because the Krusty Krab isn't open. Welcome to the Crusty Crab. How may I help you? Hey, dude. I'm here for an interview. Mr. Grabe called me. Arr, 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 arr. Hey, boy. I'm Mr. Crab. Say you're about 20 minutes late. Yeah, dude. I got kind of distracted by a gnarly looking surfboard. I was checking out on the on the way here. Hmm. Well, that's quite all right. Let's get started, shall we? Come on, SpongeBob, Squidward, and Patrick. Well, me boy, I noticed that you haven't held a job for more than three months. Yeah, dude, I just don't have, don't believe in rules. I prefer to do my own thing and just relax from time to time. All my previous employers were such a drag. <laughs> I like you. You know, back in the old days, I was cool to you. Ain't quite with the ladies, man. Ain't quite the ladies, man. Wink, wink. I like him too. He kind of reminds me of how I used to be. <laughs> used to be. Hey, uh, Mr. Krabs, I don't think he's the right candidate for this position. That's nonsense. We can have SpongeBob train him, and plus, he's willing to work for nearly nothing. Arr, 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 arr. Howdy, guys. What's going on here? Me and the crew are hiring a new employee. This scooter guy seems to be the perfect fit. Hey, hey, Captain. I know he'll be perfect for the job. Go, Scooter. Um, well, I'm not sure about that, guys. I know him and he spells trouble. If you hire him, he'll bring down the Krusty Krab and all of you guys with it. Is that so? That's no good. He's so cool, though. I know we can make him the best fryer ever. I had a bad feeling about him. Listen, I think you guys are blinded by his coolness and chill attitude. If you actually look at the facts and not what you want to see, it will become clear that the other candidates are much better options. But he needs a job so he can buy a new surfboard. What are we doing is righteous. Actually, the other candidates need jobs so they can feed their families. They are being responsible. Something you've never heard of. Mm, I guess we can look at the other interviewees again. I choose we hire and who we don't, but Sandy has a point. So let's review the other two potential employees.